hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to set up react native bottom tabs and also setting up the stacks navigator in your react native app so the first thing we have to do is head to this particular website which is reactnative.dev and all you have to do is copy this command right here and here we're going to create a folder so in our desktop directory we're going to create a new folder we're going to call that navigation click on enter we're going to drag this into our ide and we're going to just bring this to the right so once that is ready we're going to click on these three dots go to terminal new terminal and we're going to take this up a little bit so the code that we copied now we're just going to paste that in and this is going to try to install a react native app using expo so while that is installing we're going to head back to our browser and we're going to go to reactnavigation.org slash docs slash getting started so we're going to scroll up so the installation right here is basically react navigation native so if you copy this code head back to our code right here and yes it has installed all you have to do is go into cd awesome project and we're going to say cd awesome project and just click on enter once you're in that specific folder you can as well just paste the code i just copied now so click on enter and let's head back to our browser and on this left side you're going to go to navigators and right here you're going to see the stack you're going to see the native stack drawer bottom tabs and all these are all the navigators available in react native in our own case we're going to use the native stack so if you scroll up you're going to see react navigation native stack so all you have to do is just copy this and head back into our code you're going to paste this as well so once that is installing head back to your browser and you can see bottom tabs right here so if you select bottom tabs you can be able to use bottom tabs right here and you can see how that looks like so all you have to do is just head back here it says react navigation bottom tabs so copy this and head back into your code editor paste this and click on enter and here inside our awesome project if you check package.json and if you bring this down a little bit don't worry this is not going to affect our installation if you try to minimize your terminal so to start using this all you have to do is just start your app and you can say mpx expo start to start your react native app so to use all we just installed now you can see let's head back to native stack and we've already installed it using this command right here and this is the basic way to use our stack navigator so let's just head back into our code and as you can see this is the way to start our app so all you have to do is just type in a and this is going to open our app right here so let's just bring this down and we can as well just close it entirely so inside of our app.js this is where we're going to work with our code and in a minute you're going to see what we're going to be working with right here as you can see if we just change this to the popular hello world you're going to see the changes live in our project so as you can see that hello world so the next thing to do is set up our navigation and the first thing you have to do is inside the awesome project create a folder and i'm going to call that src and inside of this src we're going to create another folder called navigation and inside of this navigation you're going to create a file and inside of this file you're going to call this index.js so inside of index.js we're just going to set up a boilerplate code and you can set that up using react native functional component so this index we're going to change it to our own specific name and we're going to call this app navigation and once we save that we can as well go to our app.js and everything here we're going to remove it and we're going to say let's bring in app navigation that we just created right now and also we are going to import that right away and remove all the styles here save that and you're going to see your index file here which is basically our app navigation so the first thing we have to do is say import and we're going to say native container from react navigation native and after this we're going to import the native stack as well so if you go to native stack and you scroll up you're going to see that they import this as well so let's just copy this copy this and just paste that after this so that's the second thing and the next thing we have to do is also import the bottom tabs and if you scroll up we've already installed this earlier if you scroll up just copy this if you go back into your code editor and you bring this here so we're ready to use all these methods from react native navigation and first things first you can as well just remove everything here and this navigation container you can as well just 
put it right here by saying navigation container but we don't want this to be in between that and also we don't want this to be here because that will throw an error in our code so after that we are going to create a method which looks like this basically creating a variable called stack and i'm going to assign it to this create native stack navigator and also you're going to do the same for create bottom tab navigator so you come down here as well and you're going to say create a constant variable called tab and assign it to what we have here so you're ready to use this in your app to set up the navigation so instead of this just right here let's head back to our code first and go to native stack and if you scroll up you're going to see how to set up a basic stack navigation so all you have to do is just copy everything here which is this function copy it and above this just paste what we just copied and save it let's just remove everything here first so that our code looks clean a little bit now remember that we have to set up this component which is home let's just go into our source folder and we're going to create another folder called screens and this inside of this we're going to say we want to have something called the stacks folder and also we want to have the bottom tabs folder so once these two folder are ready inside of the stack we're going to create a new file and we're going to call that home.js and inside of this we're going to create a basic boiler plate code and after that you can just close this and all you have to do is just import this straight away so we're going to say import home from screens home as you can see it says this doesn't exist and that is because our path is not correct so all you have to do is just remove everything here and let's go into our path and say we want to have stacks and also home so this is the correct path to import this specific screen and the next thing we have to do is also create the bottom tabs and we want to have three bottom tabs right here so instead of these bottom tabs we're going to create three files you're going to say home tab js and also let's just create the boilerplate code for this and inside of the bottom tabs as well we want to create a search tab as well and inside of this search tab we're going to create a boiler code for that as well so let's just close that and also finally we're going to create another one called account dot js account tab instead we're going to create a boilerplate code for that as well so if we save that all our bottom tabs is ready and we can start creating it here then after this my stack function you're going to paste that right here again and you're going to call this my tabs now we don't want to call this just home we want to call this home tabs with an s and also we don't want to call these settings we want to call these search tabs and finally we want to just duplicate this as well so let's just copy this and after this we're going to paste the code right here and we're going to call this account tabs now once that is ready we have to replace this component with their correct name and the correct name for this is going to be home tabs home tab and also we're going to say this is going to be search tabs search tab instead and finally this is going to be called account tab and once you save that you can start using all of these in your app so the next thing we have to do is assign these my tabs to what we have right here so the next thing we have to do is just make sure that this function right here is assigned to the first screen here i know we already set up home before but don't worry we're going to change that in a bit so all you have to do is just set this to my tabs right here and we're not going to call this home we're going to call these tabs so once we are ready we can as well just pass this function right here here and you're going to see all our bottom tabs in a moment so inside of this we're just going to say use my stack right here and it's saying home tab doesn't exist and that's because we are yet to import all of this so the next thing to do is just say import home tab and we're going to import home tab from and we're going to say go to this specific screen and inside of the bottom tabs we're also going to import the home tab and we're going to do the same for the rest as well which is import search tab from this URL and also finally the account tab so if you save that 
you should be able to see all our tab right away as you can see we have the home tabs we have the search tab as you can see also we have the account tabs right here so guys that is how to set up a navigation using stack navigation and bottom tab navigation in your react native app i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please like the video subscribe and i'm going to share more how-to videos moving on so thank you for joining me on this video and have a nice day